Hi everyone, welcome to the Sabre Education Experience Forum. I'm Richard Watson, Sabre Educator. Behind the camera is Abby. Hi. Hi Abby. Hi everyone. Hey, so we're live. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to shoot them through. Um, today is going to be part three of Shine on the Bloomy Shine and we're going to be focusing on our wonderful Bloomy Shine Youth Lock. So today we're going to have a detailed overview about YouthLock, when will we use it, uh, what is the technology behind YouthLock, um, what it means for us as hairdressers and what it means for us, for our clients. So what I want to do first of all is give you a bit of an idea about um, the technology behind YouthLock. Now as you can see we've got some slides up here. And Abby, if you can just do a little zoom in for me when we look at our Lumi Shine system. So the first thing that we want to focus on is the technology, and then we'll look into what that does and what it really means for us as hairdressers and our clients. So within each Lumi Shine Youth Lock color tube, you have got Baruti fruit oil. So this Baruti fruit oil comes from a palm tree and the, they extract the oil from the fruit. And it really is about adding moisture and shine and gloss and the hair just feels amazing. That's one of the reasons why it feels amazing as well. Argiplex, now if you've been following our Lumi Shine Shine On series, you will know all about Argiplex. I won't go into detail of it today, but bottom line is Argiplex is the basis of our technology within the whole LumiShine range, not just Youth Lock, and it really helps to give us colour longevity, vibrancy, and that extra shine as well. Also, the Quadramine Complex, you will note that we've gone over that. That's uh, a combination of the Argiplex and Quadramine that gives us our really strong hair that gets rebuilt from the inside out. Another part of our three stages within all of our LumiShine ranges is arginine, the bond building complex. Now, arginine, as I've explained earlier, is an amino acid, and that amino acid has been found to be extremely important in the hair's strength. So, we've got the three that are in all of our LumiShine ranges. We've seen Baruti fruit oil, and that's exclusive to Youth Lock but something else within youth lock is collagen. Now, collagen, as I'm sure most of you would know, is about restoring strength and hydration to aged, to aged hair in this example, but you probably know it from cosmetics and other skincare ranges. Collagen is absolutely fantastic for repairing, hydrating fragile hair strands for healthy hair in hair that is aged. So that gives us a bit of an overview of our youth lock technology within. Let's get a bit real about it because knowing the technology is important and it's great for us as hairdressers, but a lot of the time I'm not gonna to say to my clients all of the technology within them. Some clients might like to know that, but what they wanna know is what is it gonna do for their hair. And the beauty of LumiShine with the three sections of our Argiplex the arginine and the quadramine is that gives us a strength in the shine but we've got the added benefits of extra shine from the Baruti oil and also extra moisture from the collagen that we spoke about so for hair that's aging and when we're talking about aging hair it doesn't necessarily have to be grey so that's something I'll say right off the bat with you Lumi Shine Youth Lock this will give us 100% coverage I'll go into that a little bit later but it doesn't necessarily have to be grey hair to be used and hair that's ageing so that can become a part of life as we age but also it's part of the hair's ageing process so hair that's really long that's actually older hair than the hair at the roots so that hair that's really long that requires some more moisturising complexes such as the collagen and the baruti oil so in terms of what it will do for our clients, it's going to give them extra, super extra shine and extra moisturising, um, moisturised hair, even on hair that's really old 
dry and brittle or grey hair that's very wiry and coarse and that'll soften it down and add a lot of moisture to it. So we're speaking of grey hair with the Lumi Shine and the Youth Lock because yes, it will give us 100% coverage, but always keep in the back of your mind that it's great for all hair types as long as that hair requires a lot of moisture. So a bit of a caveat to that, if the hair is extremely healthy, you may find that Youth Lock is not ideal because it might moisturize the hair too much. All right, so that gives us a bit of an idea about what's inside the technology and what we are going to um, find that does for our client. Let's have a look at the actual shades within the Lumi Shine Youth Lock range. There's 20 colors. There are three different subcategories. Do you want to pick it up, Rich? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yep. Cool. All right. So 20 shades within the Lumi Shine Youth Lock range. These 20 shades, they can all be intermixed with every other shade within Lumi Shine permanent colors. So we did an overview um, a couple of weeks ago in part one of our Lumi Shine Shine On, and we went through the different ranges. We have permanent color, we have youth lock which is permanent and we've got two demi permanent ranges. It's important to keep those as two subcategories as well. Lumi Shine and the permanent range, they are completely compatible with each other. So it really opens up a whole scope of extra color formulas when you can use the whole palette of your permanent range and intermix them with youth lock. And when would you do that? quite a few reasons. Earlier when we talked about adding more moisture, that might be part of the reason. But another major reason, and probably the, use, the way you would use it mostly, is to get your extra coverage on grey hair. Talk about that in a second, but let's have a look at the colours again. We've got NNA, Natural Natural Ash. And that range moves from three through to nine. We have our, ooh, Sorry, people. <laughs> Hello, back again. We've got our NMG, Natural Natural Gold, and that range moves from four through to 10. And we have our double Ns, Natural Natural, moving from a two up through to a 10. So all of these colors that we've just shown here, these will give us 100% coverage on any type of tenacity within the grey hair spectrum. Some white hair you'll find is fine, it's really easily covered and you may not need to move into this range if you feel like that fine white hair doesn't necessarily need more moisture, it might be healthy. So your natural ranges within your Lumi Shine, your natural ash, natural violets, Natural Gold will give you 100% coverage. However, if you're talking about that resistant, tenacious, coarse, um, unruly white hair, that's where Youth Lock really comes into its own. It helps to soften it, but also it helps to give a really opaque coverage. And we've got a difference between a gentle multi-dimensional coverage in our Lumi Shine Permanent and that stronger opaque coverage in Lumi Shine Youth Lock. So, earlier I said that we can mix these colours together. So if you're after that strength of coverage, that stronger opaque coverage, being able to intermix one of these colours with any of these really adds an added benefit because you can keep fashion colours with people that are getting greyer and greyer over time. If we're looking at doing some formulas, I'll talk a little bit about some formulas that are um, some of my favourites, really. I think it's good to keep a simple rule in mind. When you're looking at covering white hair, work out the percentage of that white hair first. If the percentage is zero to 100, so any percentage, using the youth lock on its own will give you 100% coverage. 
But once we start to mix in fashion shades, colours that won't give us coverage, then we go with the simple rule of whatever the percentage is of white hair, that's the percentage of youth lock or coverage colour that we need to use. So, for example, if I was going to mix, let's use one of our fashion shades as an example. Have you got these ones here? So let's use 70cc as an example. My client loves the 7cc. We're starting to get a little bit grey. She's getting some white hair and we're looking like it's about 25% or under. Simple rule of that is that I can use 75% of my 7cc and 25% of my youth lock colour. Now, if I was going for a fashion shade in the copper realm, I think it makes a lot of sense to me to use my NNG. So, for that mix, I would use, let's say, 25% 7NNG and 75% 7CC. Cool. We use the same example, the same client, but she's come back in a few years' time, hopefully not too quickly, and she's closer to 50% white. So she's between 75, oh sorry, between 25 and 50% now. So we need to change the formula a little bit because we're going to use 50% as the great coverage mix. So we'll do the same thing. We'll use 50% of our 7 NNG and 50% of our 7 CC. Once she gets a little greyer using the same formula, she becomes anywhere above 50% we're talking about getting up to 75%, we would need to use 75% of my NNG and 25% of my CC. Once she starts to get to 100%, that percentage still will stay the same. We would use 75% of my youth lock NNG and 25% of my 7CC. Pretty simple follow the percentage of their white hair. That gives us an example of when you're using fashion shades. Now... Got a question are... here, Rich, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We've got, uh, why, don't Joyco pro why don't Joyco put the collagen technology into all the Lumashine shades? Stunks asked that one. Okay. Good question. Good question. Thank you for that. Um, it's a question I've got to think about a little bit because sometimes there's, it's overkill. And I think I brought it up a little bit before saying that certain times the hair may be healthy enough that you don't need to use the youth lock. And when that hair is healthy, if we were to overload it with a certain type of moisture, if you just think about in cosmetics, if we're putting extra collagen into really healthy young skin perhaps, if I was to be putting collagen onto my daughter's skin, I would say that that's gonna to start to go quite greasy and it's going to overload, it doesn't need it. And I think that's really the answer, is that the rest of the range is made for the majority of hair types and youth lock is made for that extra grey coverage as well as adding the collagen in for that added benefit of the moisture. So they just don't need it because the Argiflex is enough for the majority of clients without that extra agent. Great. Hope that answers the question, <laughs> Doug. Okay, so if we're looking at our range again, let's come up with some other formulas. And we looked at a formula earlier for fashion color. Let's go the opposite spectrum and go for a cool color. We want coverage as well. And my go-to is using the NNAs. This makes a lot of sense because our NNA is our cool color double natural ash. We'll show you the colour wheel later to get an idea about where they sit. But ash is cool and we want to enhance that coolness because let's say we're working on someone that's 50% white. Now our opaque coverage of NNA will give us 100% coverage but I want to add some extra cool tone in that. So if I move into my Lumishine permanent range we've got the blue ash. Now this blue ash in the permanents won't give me coverage. 
I need to mix it. Using the example of the client for 50%, it's a simple mixing ratio of half of our NNA. Let's say it was seven NNA again, for example, and then we'll do half of our seven BA. And that is going to give me excellent coverage with ultra cool results. That particular mix is one of my favorites. I often do um, more of my um, NNA because a lot of the clients that I'm dealing with for that type of coverage are um, more than 50%. They're getting up to the 75, 100%. So that's when I'll be doing three quarters of my NNA to one quarter of my 7BA. Um, if you want ultra cool, perfect opaque coverage, great mixing the BAs. So, I think it might be time to have a little look at the colour wheel now, which we've got over here. Thanks, Abby. Just come up here. I'm going to use a colour brush as a pointer, a little Jimiko colour brush. So, as you can see with the LumiShine colour wheel, and I have gone over this um, in the overview portion earlier, however, let's focus on the youth lock. In the centre we've got natural and we've got double natural. Now this is a neutral zone in the colour wheel so it's a combination of our primary colours giving us a neutral result. The natural and the double naturals they are the same colour but they have extra pigment so they have a heavier dye load, a heavier pigment load which gives us that opaque coverage which is really really beneficial for the extra great coverage on resistant white hair. If we look over in the ash area, we've got our green, our neutralized green zone in here. We've got natural, natural ash sitting in the same area as our natural ash. So yes, they are the same tone. However, the natural, natural ash in youth lock will give us better coverage than our NA. While we're talking about the idea of better coverage and double pigments, it's important for us to remember as well, because of the heavier pigment load, the colours within Youth Lock will appear slightly darker. So if I was to do and move a client from my NA colour, she started to get a little bit too grey, I felt like I needed to move into the double NA, then the colour that I chose in this, I would have to make it slightly lighter, not a full shade, but I would go half a shade lighter with my new formula of the NNA because the NNA is actually about half a shade darker in a comparative level to the NA. Now NG, we don't have on this one because NG is actually only brand new. The NNG in the LumiShine Youth Lock will sit in the same area here and the same rules apply that I spoke about with the N and double N, NNA and NA. So that is our colour wheel, giving us an idea about where our youth lock sits in comparison to the rest of the Lumi Shine range. All right, so moving on, I think I've spoken quite a bit about some formulas using the colours, using the tubes of colour. Our beautiful 74 mil Shine Youth Lock Tube, but I haven't spoken about the cream developers and what's the mixing ratio and what is um, the developers to use with Shine Youth Lock. So I think it's fairly self-explanatory for us hairdressers that know our white coverage rules is that we would use 20 volt as the majority of our white coverage. So all of the formulas that I spoke about earlier, they would be mixed in a one to one mixing ratio with 20 volume. So it's equal parts of color tube and 20 volume. It's really simple. However, I think we need to talk about the full range of our cream developers because we have got five, 10, 20, 30, and 40 volt. And 
they can all be used with use lock. Just depends on why and when. So let's have a little chat about that. 20 volt is going to be used most of the time. Personally, 30 and 40 volume, I really don't use them with use lock personally much. You can, but the way I see it is that when I'm using use lock, I'm working on hair for two reasons. One is it's resistant white, and the other one it's aged and dry and damaged. So if I'm working on it for purely white coverage reasons, 20 volume will be my best coverage, no matter what. Once you jump up into 30 and 40, your coverage is diminished a little bit. So that knocks out the high levels for me. The other reason is that if I'm working on that dry, damaged, aged hair, the lower the volume, the healthier the results. So that knocks out the high level 30 and 40 volume as well. So you can use them, but I don't see a need for them much. 20 volume is mostly used. However, we've got 10 and 5 volume, which I think are definitely um, more user friendly with use box. So if we look at some examples of not needing to cover white, now, if I need to cover white hair, I'm not gonna get what I'm after if I'm using 10 or five volume. It won't give me the 100% opaque coverage. But if I'm trying to color mid length to ends, or I'm trying to do a color balance, or maybe even I'm not after the specific strength in the color, using the 10 and the five volume is absolutely fine to do. You might just be after a specific tone that you've got in your use block range. You may want to use your five volume as a toner. Now, traditionally, you wouldn't think of a um, use lock type range as a toner, but it can be done. Absolutely, you might find that any of these um, tones in here is specifically what you're after for pre light and toner. However, I would say that personally, I think I've got better options going in with my demi-permanent options, the DD creams or the liquid demis as a toner. That we'll talk about um, in our next session, so I'll go into detail about that later. But one area that I do use the five volume a lot with my use lock is particularly with the double naturals, the NMs and the NMGs. I use them as a reverse balayage or a low light effect. When you're dealing with hair that's quite old, because it's long. It doesn't have to be on a person that's old, but the hair's old. It's been around for years and years. It might be down to way past their shoulders, halfway down their back. As we know, that hair on those ends, it's seen a lot of damage from pollution, UV. It might be um, getting color treated um, or chemical services. So to put that collagen and the broody oil into those mid lengths to ends is absolutely perfect and it's something I'd really recommend. You'll find that you get longer lasting results because the hair's healthier and it will look and feel a lot healthier and, and shinier. So using as a reverse balayage is fantastic. I wouldn't do the NNA if you're working on pre-lightened hair if you're wanting a more natural, warm result because that is very cool. So the NNG and the double M's are great in a reverse balayage or a low light effect. Good for that sort of TLC. Exactly, exactly Abby. So there's some ideas about using different peroxides or cream developers as we like to call them. Okay, so we talked about the mixing being a one to one mixing ratio. We talked about the cream developers and now we need to look at the timing. So, we've got a little chart up here that Abby can come and have a look. It's very, very simple. But it's good for you guys just to have a, you can flip back and rewind it to, to read some of these. Take details. a screenshot or we can actually post this after the class as well. Yeah, cool. Cool, thanks Abby. So, mixing ratio, as you can see here, one to one, we've spoken about that. Processing time, 45 minutes. Now, if we notice down here, we've got processing time 35 to 45 minutes for great coverage. With all of our permanent ranges, 35 minutes is the standard timing. But if you're after that intense, opaque, white coverage, 
then we would recommend that you go for that extra 10 minutes and that you put your timer on for 45 minutes um, if you're after perfect resistant white hair coverage. Keep it simple, one to one mixing ratio, 45 minutes. Youth lock, can't go wrong. Okay, so we're moving on. Is there any more questions out there? If there are, please feel free to shoot them out. We'll be posting this video later though, so you can um, comment on that and we'll get back to you as well. But whilst we're um, looking at the timing, we need to look at removal of our Lumi Shine Youth Lock. So the removal is very, very simple. First thing to do is use the cuticle sealer. So for those of you who don't know about cuticle sealer, it is absolutely imperative that you have the, the KPAC four-step system at the back basin if you're using any of our Joico products. If you use LumiShine, the system is, you would go in and, sorry, I'd like to <laughs> That's all good, it's all um, good. So part two of our four-step system is LumiShine Cuticle Sealer. It's one of my favorite products. It's fantastic. I love this stuff. Absolutely brilliant. This is an acidifier for the hair. After we've used an alkaline color, we need to bring that hair back and acidify it and bring it back to its natural state. We would use this directly after we apply any of our youth lock colors at the basin. Once you apply this, you leave it in for five minutes, comb it through, rinse that, and then you start your traditional method of removal. And that traditional method is a shampoo and a conditioner. Um, depending on what you've worked with with the hair, what type of hair it is, we've got lots of recommendations, but um, a very uh, user-friendly way is to use the um, KPAC Color Therapy shampoo and conditioner, but that varies and we won't go into that um, in detail now. Um, so just as a recap of color removal, you rinse the hair, you apply your cuticle sealer, and then you shampoo and condition. Great tip. Now, Duncan has asked, what is your favorite formula for a nine to 10 level cool brunette on 100% gray? Ooh, ooh. Cool, okay. Cool brunette on a nine or 10 level. My, f my first instinct is I go in, you know, I'm gonna use my double NA. Definitely double NA for Lumi Shine is gonna give me that paper coverage. So I could maybe just use that. Let's have a look. Nine double NA. However, I reckon I can bump the coolness up a bit. Ooh, that sounds interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so, once again, using BA, Blue Ash. Love it. So the beauty of using my 10 BA mixed in the appropriate ratio, like I said earlier about the percentage of their white hair. So the appropriate ratio did the question come through, was that 100%? 100% grey. Okay, so the appropriate ratio for 100% white would be one, sorry, three quarters double NA, nine double NA, and one quarter of 10 BA. Beautiful. Volume, 45 minutes. Absolutely the coolest result that you would get on that level. The beauty of using the BA and the double NA is that the BA is blue. The NNA is green. So we're getting both of the cool spectrum to help neutralize the red and the orange as we lift. Awesome. Cool. Excellent. All right. So, if there's no more questions, I am going to conclude our session today as just a little bit of a recap, some of the simple things we need to know about LumiShine Youth Lock. There are 20 shapes and there are three different ranges. Double NA, double N and double NG. So ash, natural gold. The colors get mixed one to one, 45 minute development time. 
20 volt for grey coverage and can be mixed with any of our permanent colours. Pretty simple. But for me on a personal note, I have found since using Lumishine, the condition of my older clients, the condition of my longer hair reverse balayages has bumped up another level. And I think really that's due to the Baruti oil and the collagen. So I'd love for you guys to try this out. It will give you the coverage that you're after, but it will give you the condition and reverse the signs of aging in older hair to bring it back to feeling young, beautiful and healthy again. That's really shine new block. Thank you. So before we go, I just want to mention that we have a part four of our Shine On with Lumi Shine coming up on Wednesday, the 7th of April, 2021. So please stick around with us um, and enjoy the ride. So that's bye from me. Thanks everyone.